If, if we say that, that the normal condition of Islamic countries right now is to be, to be missing some aspects of economy or, or industry, it is, I would say it is, it is not directly um, linked to, to the Islamic world. For, I come from a, from a country which is considered to be poor or a third world country, but it is considered only by the people who, or only by the countries who are trying to take control. And if you go through these countries or if you go through these societies, they are not poor at all. We just have deficits of things or a deficit of organization to provide these things. For instance, uh, you would see that the, the, much of the, of the countries that are considered poor, they have natural resources. With, they could be petroleum, gold, or various other forms of natural resources, but they are always taken to the main rich countries because they can use them in better ways than we can do. That's what they tell us. But it's just the aspect of colonization to tell us that we are poor and, and that we have to give our richness to the rich. It's just a, an aspect of reverting the soft power and taking control of our, of our own minds and of our own souls to establish that we can be, that we can be strong by, by using both of these and, and, and providing ourselves, firstly ourselves, whether it be in, in Asia, Africa, or Latin America, which is, is considered to be poor countries, still it is considered poor countries, just to organize ourselves and to not depend on these aspects of rich countries. Rich countries, which I mean, they have more, more uh, equipment and more tools because they are not rich in culture. So for, for in, this, in this aspect of rich countries, they have all, all, the, all uh, the things that they offer, all the things that uh, a society can, would need or would want, but the family structure doesn't work because it doesn't provide the moralistic aspects of a religion or the substitute of a feeling of feeling that you are living in a just society. If you take the case of an American family, you would see they have more than normal problems with their interior uh, aspects. They have depressions and they have uh, violence, which doesn't make much sense because they have these uh, problems within their societies and they try to fill it with different things. So in, in my aspect, for instance, I come from a, from a, from a culture of, of family and I would, I, would, I would say that even if we have deficits as, as a people, we have ourselves as a culture and as a freedom that it is not the same as to be told that you have freedom by the government. So culture provides way more things than, than a political system. So in this case, the rich, the rich countries are not guaranteed to last. And we, we have seen this in, in various uh, other empires because they, they fall on, the, on, the, on, on their selves. But if you take the example of other empires which have uh, taken their course on culture, they live long enough. You can see the case of Iran or or even um, India or China or, or Mexico, for instance, the, the old cultures of Mexico, they, they had so much to provide and so much to, to, to structure their own forms of living that they, they maintain themselves to this day. They, they have a, a strong root to the, to the ground. They, they, are, they are strong to this day. And my, my view is, is that if, if these cultures, they, they, they would um, embrace Islam, for, one, for, for my point of view, they would develop themselves in a completely stronger version of, of, of what a culture, of what a society can be. And we, we would see it in, in different aspects. For instance, uh, we have to be also, we have to be on the, on the case that Islam provides information on the society, 
on the culture and uh, in the individual. We have to take so much emphasis on the individual because we, with another person and another person, we would make societies. For instance, the case of Iran, it is an Islamic country, but they are considered to be a a school of, 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 of Islam. So uh, to say that Islam is the answer, you, you have to be careful of, 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 of how you take this, um, this, this uh, freedom of, of ourselves. For instance, uh, uh, other cultures or other, other Islamic countries, we tend to only uh, strengthen one, one side whether it be the industry, or whether it be the culture, or whether it be the, um, the, um, the religion. We have to take all of them together, and this is the only way to, to succeed. And we are seeing it now in Turkey. Turkey is growing very, very rapidly because I think they are implementing these three things, this, this, to, to embrace the culture, to embrace the religion and to embrace the, 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 the industry, the technology. So we are seeing Turkey in 20 years, it has grown, it has grown very strong and it, it could be for every other country in Africa or in Latin America or in Asia and we can, we can do it in this form.